this is Life Science, and today I'm gonna be giving up you about uh, like a tutorial on for cinema about like an Hydro Plus effect. And I hope you enjoy. And uh, sorry about being like being an interactive because um, the new YouTube player has been coming out. Like it sucks a lot. Um, like standard like standard backgrounds they don't have any, any banner. Only the party people can have like a background. It sucks a lot. I hate it. But anyway, I'm gonna be going for making. This tutorial. Just gonna open up for the cinema. I should probably have been logging off my Skype. Oops. Oops! Don't watch my Skype! <coughs> okay. Okay, let us go in this mode. Uh, this controller shouldn't be so long. <coughs> I sorry about my voice, it's a bit like it. Almost, almost like it's disappearing a couple times. But uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be learning you about. It's an. Um, I should I probably have the file for it in my Cinema 40 file. Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna be showing how you like how to make this kind of logo. And like, oops, like a bit, but. I'm gonna be showing you how you how to do this and like with a fractured object at the base extrude at the ray again and randomize and everything. But I'm just gonna open up my live studio so that I can use that I will be giving on uh, 300 subs. It's saying I'm gonna be doing a background giveaway, but I'm gonna be changing that to something else. Just gonna delete that. Um, that in, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using the face logo as you see, saw in the um, one I made. It works like. Pretty good, pretty good. So click file, merge, um, find the logo. I uh, should probably have it like in my files. AIs, this logo. Okay, and I'm just gonna drag it up to here. Get a bit small. Like so. Basically. Can you extrude nerves? Drag it on. Like so. Do this 50 or like 70. I'm gonna be like, okay, 65. Let's go for 65. No. Okay, uh, do not. Um. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, 50. Caps going. Caps. Do the field cap, cap, field cap. Do this one. And. Whoa! Not 12. One. As you can see, you, you don't. When you are edit, like editing your logo and everything you want to preview, you don't need to have your global nation on. Just have M inclusion, color correction, object glow. For getting the glow and everything. As you can see, like you can get it like in pretty much like fast preview. So, uh, duplicate your logo. Hide and hide other one. Click on this one. Go and plug in. You need to have Night Plus, but that will, you're gonna be using that. It works with the uh, browser too, but it's Night Plus. It's like you're getting like more nice cuts on it. So go on this. Uh, quality cuts. Do it high. Do uh, the cuts 80 and uh, thickness like five percent. And fracture, but um, when I'm like I'm doing my fracture on this cinema, it's like it's gonna be like a couple times kind of freezing, like not answering because I had I have been having a virus on my PC, that like, I have been slowing my PC down. So sorry about that. So like you can see now, it's stopped responding. So I'm just gonna be needing to wait until it's done. So now it's like cuts 80 parts of the logo. Now. You have like two materials. Go to the yellow one. Click on the like the color. Go on here. Just click uh, like it's going straight like in gray color. Like I'm, I'm gonna be choosing a, like a dark one like this. Right click here. Go object shadow. Like so you can like get in this kind of shape. Go on luminous. Do this uh, two percent reflection. Uh, four percent like so. Now. Uh, other way around. This is gonna be two luminance, four. Like so. 
do the same with this color gunners here here and here like so go right click of the shadow map now whoops object the uh, shadow like soft shadow luminance four reflection two two or three I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be doing three on this one close it go here main pieces dynamics and I'm gonna, just gonna check my recording time five minutes and five minutes and a half and then I'm gonna do is just select all the pieces and the same with um, oops before you do that uh, go mo graph um, oops up here go mo graph fracture object just have it there select all the pieces for uh, like that logo if you have like uh, letters just uh, break everyone take all from the dynamics and, and all the pieces and just add everything to the fracture object like every letter of fractures or like pieces everything just add it to the um, fracture object close it that's all and just take this one you don't need it like so uh, on this one like you can see yeah, all parts broken you can't see anything because you need to go on <laughs> like you need to be clicking on the fracture object because uh, the editing is gonna only be like added to the face logo so MoGraph vector randomizer as you can see you like getting this kind of shape uh, so that you're gonna do is uh, do the strength like 7% or something like so um, then open this one up duplicate it hide another one this one uh, that you can just do is um, go on uh, Adam Array add that one on like so as you can see yeah, like I'm getting like this kind of shape so I'm gonna spare this and do it uh, 0 0.7 like so as you can see I think it's like it's kind of bit too big so like 0.5 it's much better like so as you can see it's gonna be like pretty much like fast render and uh, that you can do um, add like a color to it I'm just gonna add on like a blue one like so and that you're gonna do is um, add this one again like um, duplicate it again Hard this one, click here. Uh, just like yeah, take the moon tool and like pretty much click here. Go caps and do the zero and just like kind of drag it a bit back so you get like some parts of it, like not everything. Uh, I'm just gonna choose where I want mine. Uh, as you can see, I'm probably gonna be like having like that. Looks good. And uh, add a blue material on. Like so, and um, one thing we can do is um, that first you can do actually is uh, create a new material. Go here, um, color, do like a black one, I think. It's kind of like black one, like not too black. And go here, uh, object shadow, go luminance, or reflection, even two or three. And they're going to for doing two, and I think it's like that will work. So just um, have it there. And what you're gonna do now is you have a factor, duplicate it, like Control C, Control V. Oh, Adam Ray, oops, not that. Adam Ray, uh, add the factor object to it. Like see, you can get, like kind of bubbles on it. Uh, go here, do this. Um, Point one, like it's all in the edges. That's everything. Just add them, like the material, onto it, like giving like a pretty nice shadow onto the some of the pieces, as you can see here. Kind of like a bit black side of it. It looks good. It works for me. Like I'm gonna get like a bit shadow on it. And um, that you're gonna do now is uh, duplicate the fracture object again. And that you're gonna do is um, like see it's kind of lagging now because my laptop is not the best editor, but it's good enough for this. So just like drag it a bit back, um, rotate the camera again, and this one, click on it. Don't do anything else because you're gonna be adding a MoGraph effect randomizer to it, like so I can get a couple pieces. Like as you can see, you can like uh, click on the fracture object again 
and go another one so you get like more pieces like it's more spread but I'm not gonna do that because I don't just, like I want like I will just want to have one um that's pretty much it what you can do is um or you can use different materials on everything you want but I'm just gonna save mine um that uh face face logo um, and just save it to my pictures and that's it uh then you can just choose your angle like choose that one and render whoops what happened now there you go okay but while it's rendering I'm just gonna pause it hello I'm back and um, now in finally finished rendering it's like four minutes and a half upon and a half minutes and this is the look I got on the logo I hope you like it and if you want to see how to uh, like kind of get this look on Photoshop so be sure to comment in the description about it if you want to have um like want to know how to how I did it and I think that's all so please comment uh, comment and subscribe and like the video for more and I'll see you next time and goodbye